Good morning, everyone. Tyler here with my lovely girlfriend, Katrina. And today, we are at the Disneyland Hotel giving you another dining review. More specifically, we're gonna be doing breakfast at the Steakhouse 55. Uh, now, a lot of people know that they have an amazing dinner at Steakhouse 55, and they also do a little tea party there during lunch, but it's also nice to know that they serve an amazing breakfast. That's true. Yeah, I mean, Katrina, you know, she can get anything gluten-free she wants there, and they have all sorts of great choices, so I think that uh, we should go down and check it out. I do want to preface it with a little bit of we're going to be maybe whispering a little bit or talking low because, you know, it's a nicer restaurant. It's a signature restaurant here at the Disneyland Hotel. And we want to make sure that we're being polite to everybody. So we're not going to be, you know, hey, everybody, how you doing today? You know, it's going to be a little more subdued possibly, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. Maybe it'll be loud in there and we won't even, maybe this doesn't even mean anything. But just so you know, that's what's happening. Yeah, let's get some breakfast. Are you breakfast. hungry? I'm hungry oh, and man. I need coffee. I definitely need coffee. Ooh, <laughs> I feel like I have enough, but I need, I probably need more throughout the day. All right, guys, we're going to get on in and we'll tell you what we think of our breakfast. Let's do it. Let's go. Okay, guys, so they just sat us down here at Steakhouse and I got my coffee. I'm super excited. Look at all the little fixings that they give us on the side here. We have all these little jams. I like this nice little, reminds me, they probably, they do the tea parties during lunch in here, so I wouldn't be surprised if this also makes an appearance at the tea parties. But time to fix up the coffee with these beauties. Look at this. I think we talked about this in the Disney dining show recently, but uh, I don't know, there's something fun about putting rock candy in your coffee. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna grab some cream. Oh man, nothing like your first sip of coffee in the morning. And there's, there's still a lot of sugar on there, so. Maybe I'll have to speed up the process. Probably a lot of people are gonna be like, ooh, he's gonna put Splenda in on top of that? That's what I was thinking. But I'm, I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm doing it. Here we go. They, have, they usually have really good coffee here, so I'm excited to try. Yeah, really good. Nice and dark, acidic, you know? It's a lot of, a lot of places you go to, the coffee is kind of like, watered down or not you know it's not really it's not you're barely drinking coffee you're drinking like mud water but this is this is really good stuff mm. I'm awake I'm excited for breakfast so I'm gonna take one of the little sugar sticks and fix my coffee but I'm not gonna put Splenda in my coffee because that's just nah. Splenda's good nah 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 Splenda's okay okay <laughs> I don't really like my coffee very sugary, but yeah. I like it because it's like two things built in one. It's a stir stick and sugar at the same time. I'm excited. I got a lot of drinks right here. Um, I got the American breakfast, so it comes with coffee and orange juice. Yeah, what does it, what does everything with the American breakfast come with? Too much. Um, so I get coffee, juice, I get, uh, let's see, eggs, choice of meat, um, like a potato cake, and toast. Yeah. It's a lot. And they're of gonna food. give you gluten free toast too. And they're gonna give me gluten free yeah. toast and then the potato cake is actually gluten free as well. Which um, sometimes they put flour in like a potato cake or something. Yeah, to like bind it together. Um, so I'm excited and I was telling Tyler that my orange juice is missing champagne, so I missed face. the mark on that one. Come on, steakhouse. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let me taste my coffee. Yeah. See I love their coffee because it's so strong. It like it gets you ready for the day of like going to the park and stuff, so it yeah. gets you like wired. It's a real um, kick in the butt, that's for sure. <laughs> so I love it. Their coffee is amazing, and then I just we haven't been here for a while, so they changed their cups too the to cups are make it bigger. I think because I'm gonna probably down this in like a second, so get ready. So I ended up ordering the classic eggs Benedict. They actually have three eggs Benedicts here. There's the classic one, which is just with your ham and your English muffin and you know all that good stuff. But then they also have the Serrano ham uh, one, which will also come with asparagus and a corn. It comes with a corn cake instead, a homemade corn cake, and then a blood orange hollandaise, which sounds pretty interesting. And they also have the smoked salmon uh, Benedict, which I will not be partaking in ever in my life, which uh, has salmon and caviar on top, but I can totally see how people would be into that. I, I get it. But And then to top off both of our breakfasts, we decided that we were going to do a gluten-free Mickey waffle. So that's also going to be coming down here, and we're going to plop it right down in the middle, and we're going to be like, oh dang, Mickey, your taste delicious. So, you know, we'll see. Um, I'm really looking forward to breakfast. I really am. 
<laughs> While we're waiting for the food to come, um, I just kind of want to talk about the restaurant because I love this restaurant so much. It's kind of when you, you go in and you enter like old Hollywood and they have this like beautiful dark wood all around. Um, at nighttime, the lights are a little dimmer so it's like more romantic, but right now, um, the lights are just really nice and bright. And if you look around, you can see a lot of these really beautiful paintings. So um, over here on my left, you can see Walt Disney with Shirley Temple. And um, and then behind us, we'll have uh, Rosemary Clooney. And then we have Desi Arnaz and Lucille Ball. And like all around, um, around the corner, there's uh, Marilyn Monroe. So it's just these beautiful stars having dinner. So you're kind of like eating dinner with all these old time celebrities. So I love that a lot. It gives me a brown derby vibe in a way. It is, I like the boosts. Yeah. Booths are always like so romantic, especially for dinner. Um, but I, yeah, I love this restaurant. <laughs> Katrina and I are sitting right here next to this wall, and um, in here I noticed they have a lot of different wines and whatnot. You know, obviously Steakhouse 55 is going to be fancy. We have some goji wine here, which is the Kurt Russell uh, Disney Family Wines, and you can see that he's actually signed a couple of bottles right here. That's pretty cool to see Kurt Russell's signature right behind me. <laughs> Our breakfast has come. Check it out, everybody. Look at this. I am so excited. I'm super hungry, so I'm just gonna dig right in. I'm gonna try and we're gonna try and get you that money shot right here. Here it goes. Oh yeah. That's perfectly cooked. You can just tell. Here we go. Going in for a bite. You gotta get a little bit of everything. Wow. Yeah. It's really good. Um, right off the bat, you taste the lemony hollandaise. Nice and buttery. And then you get a nice like slap in the in the face with the salt from the ham. And what I really like about this is that they grill the uh, English muffin. So rather than just like toasting it, it adds a little bit extra flavor. They grill it, they put in a little bit of that, uh, they put a little butter on there, and it just adds that extra flavor. But this is phenomenal. I would say maybe I would add a little bit of salt for me personally. I'm gonna go for one more bite and I'll let you know. But. Mm. The hollandaise itself is salty enough, but. Let me try this potato cake. I haven't put any salt and pepper on any of this yet. This potato cake looks really tasty to me. And I might as well get a little bit of stuff on there, huh? Yeah. You get all the nice, the, the good texture from the hash brown. You know, like the nice crispiness, but also the fluffiness of the potato inside. But it's not too, it's like perfectly cooked. It's not, you don't have any raw potato on the inside. All perfectly cooked through. Really tasty stuff. You get a little bit of hint of onion. So they put some onion powder or some onion slices in there or something. Overall, super happy with my meal so far. I'm gonna keep on eating and we're gonna give Katrina a try here. Breakfast is here. It's like my favorite time of the day. I love breakfast so much. Okay, I don't know which one to start off first. I'm gonna go with the waffle. Oh, you're doing waffle first, huh? Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Where should I dig in? Ears or ears or mouth? I'll go here. Yes. If you guys see any of the black bars, please forgive me. They have LED lights in here. It's a little bit difficult, but okay. doing our doing our best. Okay, a little bit of syrup. It's crunchy. So let's see. It looks nice and crispy. It's a little. Ooh. Oh, is it undercooked on the inside? It, I think it might be. Oh, oh no. That's kind of sad. Yeah. It's definitely it's, undercooked. It's not complete well, yet. We're going to have to send that one back. But we'll get another one. That's, that's anyway. no big deal. We'll get another one. <laughs> that's no big deal. Okay, let's go over here. Yeah, we'll go over to the other <laughs> breakfast for now. Real quick, we're stepping in here. I, our server came by. I told her about the waffle real quick because you can see that it's. this is just un, uncooked dough. And, but she says it comes out like that a lot of the time, which if that's the case, then they're serving people raw dough. So. We'll see what happens. We'll keep you updated. Until then, Katrina's gonna try her other breakfast. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little, this little, like nice little yeah, salt look at that. pepper shaker. It looks so fancy. Yeah, this, this is cool. Anyway, all right, so let's get a little bit in here. So I'm gonna get a bite of sausage and egg. So the egg looks cooked like the way I like it. Perfectly. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, so, and they like the sausage bite. The sausage is my favorite part. Um, they haven't changed their sausage since we've started coming here like three years ago. And, and they're just, they're so juicy and there's like a nice like pepper taste to it. The eggs are nice and creamy and they're perfectly done. And let's go with my potato cake. Oh, that's crunchy. Actually, I, I think you're really it. gonna like the potato cake. I can't even cut it with a fork. Oh my god. I love it. It's so crunchy. Alright, let's get in on this. I think you're gonna like it. Oh yeah. Super yummy. I taste your onion. Um, I wanna say it's like onion powder. I think it is not, powder. But I'm not sure, but it's really, really good. Um, yeah, this is this is delicious. Let's try the tomato because I know Tyler's not gonna try it. <laughs> yeah, I just don't want it like spurting like at me. I could have not had potatoes on my plate or uh, tomatoes. I mean, sorry. They're cold, oh. but um, they're really good, well seasoned, like salt and pepper. Is um, it cooked through or is it just kind it? of blistered? It's um, I think it's like blister. They're not cooked through. But, okay. Um, this is fantastic. I am. I love their breakfast so much. Um. Yeah, so I'm really happy with this. Get my little bread going. Mm, how's that gluten-free toast? It's good. I'm glad they give you the option of gluten-free bread. Because um, I know sometimes when we go to like restaurants, I just can't have my waffle or my bread, egg, sausage. So it's nice to have that um, choice to like you know change up the textures in my mouth. But um, it gets hard a little fast. But I don't really care. It's really good. <laughs> we right, we take, got our waffle back. Take two. Take two. He's got a beard. Um, he does have a little Mickey beard. <laughs> little Mickey hipster beard growing up. Um, yeah, let's. You know, they told us they cooked this one a lot longer. So. Yeah. So let's let's see. Wow. A little syrup. A little syrupes. Wow. All right. <clears throat> Here's the moment of truth. It still feels raw. Yeah, it's still raw. I think that, unfortunately, I know a lot of um, a lot of uh, Disney areas when they do when they do waffles, they um, make them smaller. I think just because it's easier to like cook it fully. And I don't, I've never really seen like a big gluten-free Mickey waffle, um, so it's kind of like a turnoff. But I'm what, gonna try yeah. it anyway. What I what my guess is is that their waffle iron is just too hot for this dough. It's like a little doughy. It's <laughs> made with honey and then it's not wheat flour, so it's a little more gummy than like a Yeah, flour. it's a little more gummy than usual, but it's not bad. I'm the type of person that actually doesn't really like syrup on my waffles or pancakes, which is weird. I know, I get it, I'm a weirdo. You can say it. I like butter and just butter, that's fine, you know? Um, I'm going in on the ear. Honestly, you might have just gotten a bad part here because this looks like it's a little bit more cooked to me. Um, it's just a very interesting dough. It really is. Oh, I regret that. So, I now have to say that if this is how they're going to come out every time, I do not recommend the waffle. Um, I mean, I got a, I got a big bite of dough. Like, I'm not even kidding. And they say they make it with honey, and it doesn't have wheat flour, but we've had plenty of gluten-free things that are not undercooked like this. Uh, this is this is straight-up raw dough, and I don't really care what anybody says. That's what that is. So. It's not very appetizing. So, um, if that's how they're going to serve it to you, then I can't recommend it because it's not... It's not a waffle. It's not cooked all the way through. I'm sorry. Other than that, I'm very happy with my meal. Everything else has been amazing. I just, I'm just not sure about this waffle. So. But yeah, unfortunately, I wouldn't really recommend this. I think if you wanted something um, gluten free, I, I would just maybe stick with like the bread and uh, not get the waffle unless you kind of maybe hopefully. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to try the pancakes sometime. Um, they're, I remember having the pancakes and I wasn't a big fan. Oh, okay. Um, because but the didn't they change the recipe? Uh-uh. Oh. No. 
the, the, the syrup just soaked in, and they're just very gummy as well. So um, maybe they need to change their recipe. All right, guys, so that is breakfast at Steakhouse 55. We are all done. It is closing down. Actually, one of the nice little tips that we like is to maybe try and make your reservations a little bit towards the end of breakfast, because we came in at like 1025, and they stopped serving breakfast at 11. So that meant for us that it was like nice and quiet, and quiet. there was, you know, they were kind of just really attentive to us because you know they they were nice and slow so they had things they they had time for us and stuff it was That's really true. nice the service was fantastic yeah the service you know, was our fantastic our coffee was always full our water was always full they always came to check on us even after like the whole waffle fiasco but <laughs> and to tell everyone they did end up taking that waffle off of our bill and not only did they try and remake it for us but then they ended up taking it off the bill without us even asking we we were gonna just keep it on the bill and just pay for it because we ordered it but yeah but that waffle was just not properly made. I, I, you know, it's just kind of a bummer because we've had plenty of gluten-free gluten -free things before and they've never tasted like that. They've never felt like that. Yeah. That was just undercooked dough, it's plain and simple. Uh, that, uh, and it's unfortunate, but other than that, Fantastic. I mean, breakfast was so good. I love this place, and and it's such a nice beginning to your day because it's just so like quiet and laid back. I mean, yes, we, it was more like brunch. It wasn't breakfast because we got here around like 10:30. But I mean, it was just so quiet. Now we're nice and relaxed, ready to head to a busy day at the park. Got that coffee in us. Got us. The coffee is oh, starting to come through my system right now. I know. I'm right like now. jittery already. That coffee so. was crazy. <laughs> I think I think it was all in all like really really good. I've always I always love Steakhouse 55. Yeah, I mean over I would definitely come back 100%. That, that waffle was just a small yeah. little problem. Their potato and, cake. Yeah. Amazing. Everything else was so just fantastic, good. and I know we've done the dinner. Uh, we did the dinner here recently at the Disney on the Disney Dining Show, but we needed to come by and show you all the breakfast because it is truly something to it not is. be missed. Um, it's like a, it's like a little hidden gem that I don't really know if a lot of people know about the breakfast at Steakhouse Five unless you are really here. And it's kind of like having I don't in my mind like kind of like room service at the restaurant. If you can't have like the room service over at the Disneyland Hotel, they use like the same sausage and everything. It is, it is the same that. I'm pretty sure that is the kitchen that, that services the room service. So. Yeah. So I mean, breakfast. The the prices are a little um, a little high. Um, yeah, expect... Mine is twenty three. Mine was twenty three dollars. And mine was nineteen. But I got you know juice, coffee, and you know toast, eggs, yeah. potatoes. I mean, it was just a massive breakfast. So I, I think twenty three dollars is actually it's too pretty, much food. Honestly, it's, it's a lot of food. It's it's a pretty good price for yeah. what you get. Yeah, and uh, also the that Mickey waffle would have been sixteen dollars had they kept it on the bill, yeah. which is a little outraged. That's the one thing that I could say. Eh, sixteen dollars for one waffle. I don't know about that. Um, but anyway, guys, that is probably going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for joining us at Steakhouse Fifty Five for breakfast. Let us know in the comments if you've ever been here before. What's your favorite thing to eat, or what's something that we should try that we didn't try? I did see their stuffed French toast. Looked that looks pretty amazing. massive. Looks pretty amazing. It looked really good. Yeah. So if you guys have tried that, let us know what it tastes like because I'm curious. But until next time, guys, we will see you later. Bye. Bye.